So every string or read that we sequence come from the much larger string of the genome. So one can be interested in obtaining the super string that is the source of the genomic in the organism. So by using different techniques, we can get the super string. And the one simple technique is we can combine the substrings to obtain the super string. But there could be different sizes of super string. And one could be interested in obtaining the shortest possible super string. And by obtaining that shortest super string, we can say that this is the first approximation sequence of the longer genomic sequences. To obtain the shortest string, we have to use some algorithm and this algorithm is known as the shortest superstring problem. And the problem statement is that if we are given a set of strings, we have to find the shortest string that contains all of them. That means that we have to find the superstring that contains all of the substrings. So for this, we have to give the input to the algorithm and the input will be the strings of different sizes, S1, S2, S3 and up to the Sn. And the algorithm will process and it will give the output in the form of a string S that contains all strings S1, S2 and Sn as substrings. So that string will be the super string. In such that the length of S is as small as possible. So this super string S that contains all the substrings S1, S2 and up to the value of Sn should be the smallest in size as much as possible. The figure presents two super strings. We can see here this is the one super string and this is the second super string. For the set of all eight three letter characters, these are eight three letter characters, strings in a zero one alphabets because we can see there are only 0 and 1 alphabets in different arrangements and in the formation of 3. And there are total 8 3 letter alphabets. The first superstring is obtained. This is the first superstring. And by simply interconnection of all 8 strings, we have seen that three, these are 8 strings. And if we simply connect them, we will get this super string and we can assume that this is one of the fragments of DNA the second is second fragment of DNA third fourth we assume these as a fragment of DNA and if we join them combine them together then we will get the whole sequence of the long genome so this is the one technique we can use and we can get the super string. Well, the second one is the shortest super string. We can see its size is much smaller as compared to this super string. And this super string we can obtain by using these three letter codes. For example, we can see here that this 000, zero, zero is the first three letter code and then we can shift one just like a sliding window and then we will use the second set of the three letter code that is zero zero one and we know that there is a zero zero one here then we will slide another one and we will start from zero one one and we know that we have a 0, 1, 1 here. Then we will again slide one more and we'll start from 1, 1 and 1. And we know that we have this letter code 1, 1, 1 in this position. 
and so on. So in this way, we will use all the eight three letter combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will get a very short super string. On the other hand, we have also used these eight three letter uh, alphabets as a super uh, substrings and we will we have get the larger super string so the strategy is different in both of these so we can say that the shortest super string in this case represents a solution of the clever theft problem and it is the minimum string of test a thief has to conduct to try all possible k letter passwords for the combination lock so in this way we can get the shortest super string and this shortest super string explains all of the substrings that is present in the super string so if we define the overlap s i s j to be the length of the longest prefix of sj that matches the suffix of si the shortest superstring problem can be casted as a traveling salesman problem in a complete directed graph with n vertices that n vertices corresponding to the string starting from s1 s2 up to the sn and edges of length that overlap si and sj we can see in this figure that these are the eight three letter alphabets one two three and so on and they overlap with each other and this reduction of course does not lead to an efficient algorithm since the traveler salesman problem is np complete Moreover, it is known that the shortest superstring problem is itself NP complete, so that the polynomial algorithm we have discussed earlier as NP complete for this problem is unlikely. The early DNA sequence algorithm used is simple greedy strategy.